My plan is to make a night spin. Surf church. I haven't talked to anybody today. I don't know what went on, but the guys, Denny and uh, Beaver, and a lot of people. John Beaver said he's seen 13 people down there detecting yesterday morning. I don't know, but today I haven't had any reports. Uh, Anna, the lady from the club, the secretary of the club, she found a great big tungsten ring yesterday with gold inlay, but we think that was tungsten too, she said. She put a picture of it on her Facebook page. Looked pretty, but she found some kind of necklace too. And everybody found a lot of clad. All the clad was up high. You hey, look at that damn grass. I just cut it two days ago. I cut my son's grass this morning. Because I cut my grass really high. The high setting you can set on a little more. That's the way they have it. High setting. You can see the difference right there if you look at it. I know we're getting off subject here, but I got it. Same time mine was. You can see the difference of how his is much lower than ours. But that means I gotta cut it off then. Anyway, I got everything in the truck. I'm just making up my mind. Stand by. My buddy Michael did a little tip on his uh, YouTube channel about the GoPro chest mount and he did it a little different than I did. I don't know what GoPro calls this thing. It's a, it's a mount with a female threaded thing that you screw the camera the GoPro down onto. If your camera had a stud or something on it, you know. Well all I did was I took a stainless steel nut I mean a bolt and I cut it off and I screwed screwed it down into this and I put a nut on it to lock it and then I let the little stud sticking out and I just screw my camera you know all cameras got a mountain thing on the bottom of them I screwed that on there and I put this bolt wherever I wanted to tighten it up at and it tightens up right in place and then of course you either you know you bend it down to look straight ahead or you bend it down and look towards the scoop and it sits you know just like Michael's is just a little different mount up I can't remember the name of this thing right here but it works okay a little GoPro for any kind of camera chest mount stand by Well, it's just past the crack of dawn. Eight o'clock. It's Mr. Denny. Low tie Tim. We're inbound to land the Nala. Stand by. First target, 1217, 1217, three blocks, first target, here's Mr. Jimmy, what are you up to there Mr. Jimmy? I got a pulled, I mean, I got a bottle cap. <laughs> I'm having a dead battery now, so I'm heading back. Having in. what, battery? Yeah. It's dying on me. So you're off on Mondays? I'm off right now until I get back to work. I thought you went back to work. Uh, I was supposed to, and then um, they haven't approved me to come oh, back Oh, well, well, I got you. I got to go back today and pack some, some more paperwork. So, maybe so you're still on holiday like the rest of us.
first good sound, 1216. 1216. One scoop deep, that's the way I like them. Oh, it's a nice red pinkish pull tab. Fine, Taquito. Well, the sun is popping out behind that old cloud I took a picture of a minute ago. It's a rough looking cloud, isn't it? Stand by. Well, we've got a second good sound. 12, 16, 12, 17. I got a couple more pennies. Oh, I felt it. That's not a good sign when you can feel it. We got it. Third scoop of it. Oh, 25 meter cent. How the hell can that be 12, 17? Unless there's something else in there with it. Stand by. Let's go back in the hole. Look around. This damn camera. Backing up this morning. That's it. Maybe it said 12.47 instead of 12.17. I don't know. Well, as soon as I got the lucky handshake from the uh, unknown man, that's Glenn, I got a, I got something round. There's another, ran into the unknown man, and there's, uh, I think that's Big John from Hampton. I ain't sure. Look at this ticket I just found. Very good, too, 1204. I thought I had a fine taquito. It's fine, all right, and it's round. It says U.S. Polo Association. That's nice. You like polo? Mr. Denny, first time I've seen him in about three hours. Let's see how he's making out over here today. How you got it today, buddy? Where's your Where's your string thing at? I don't see anything. I got if I had it, it wouldn't have anything on it. <laughs> Nothing but clad and a couple blingier rings. I ain't got no bling, I only got a few coins. A few bottle coins? cap. Oh, I got, I got about three quarters, about six dimes, two nickels, ten I think I got one a dime, maybe two dimes, and one a quarter, maybe two quarters, and four pennies, I think. Castle going there. <laughs> the land of Nada today has been very bleak.
Tim, low tie Tim. I ain't seen him in a long time. We see how he's doing. I think we're gonna turn around and head the hell out of here. The land or not. Any improvement? I got a penny and a dime coming down this way, and a fishing lure head. Then it's got some change up high where we're hunting, you know. We might as well head out of here, haven't we? Yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. There's not much here. If it was a little bit calmer, we could have gone to the bay. I know it. If it's gone tomorrow, I'm going to the bay. Head it back to the truck. Stand by. Well, we might as well do the roundup right here from the truck. I dug this and a dime. No, this and this piece of shrapnel as we headed up to the truck in the damp sand. So I got four quarters, three dimes, eight or ten pennies, pull tab, and a, this has got a piece of lead in it. Fishing rubber fish looking thing. Nada was uh, nada today. Nada was good last night, but nada today. Stand by. Just got a phone call from the guru. He said, I'm coming over. I got a, a diamond ring I want you to test. Sounds like he found a big diamond ring last night and a silver ring this morning. We already heard he found two rings today. One was junk and one was not gold. See, he says it's a big silver ring. But it must have a stone in it. And then he said, man, I found a nice one yesterday. Sixteen diamonds in it. But he's on his way over here in a minute. Stand by. Where'd you find this ring? Uh, I don't recall. To tell you the truth. I've had that like two months. Oh yeah? 925 with a diamond in it, but he said he's had it two months, so we may have already seen it. I just don't remember it. You don't know This is the one we found. When did you find it this morning? No, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Uh, up high. 14K. Got uh, five diamonds on each side and four in the middle. And you can't see them very good with this camera, but they're there. And today he found a silver junker and I'm like, what's this other ticket? Stainless? Oh yeah, stainless. Yeah. Now, these are the only rings that, that I know of that was found by anybody today. And there was about seven of us down there. Glenn was there, uh, Nighthawk. Well, I found these right in front of Dave. Seven of us. He was 20 feet away from them. He set his nerves on fire. <laughs> he was working Well, Beaver just came by and brought his ring that he found last night. That gold ring with the ten diamonds in it. You'll see the pictures of it. But I'll tell you one thing. The pictures do it no justice from what it looks like in real life. It fits my uh, ring finger perfect. Ten nice-sized diamonds probably equal a carrot. He took it to the jewelry store. The guy's what they told him. Got to retail about 2,500 beans. Probably said he'd buy it from him. Or he wouldn't buy it from him, but... It ought to be worth 800, you know, on the market. But I tell you one thing, man, that is a nice ticket. Looks like it was brand spanking new, ain't got a scratch on it or nothing. Like the guy lost it Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning. Stand by. <laughs>